We're an Instacart family. Oh my goodness, we saved so much time with same-day grocery delivery. So we joined Instacart Plus. And now we're saving more money. We get unlimited free delivery on orders over $35. 5% credit back on pickup. And a family account to shop together. Did you know members save $460 a year when they order at least once a week? I do now. See how much you'll save. Visit instacartplus.com for two weeks free. Average savings exclude membership fee. Individual savings may vary. Credit back excludes alcohol. Paid membership auto renews. Additional terms apply. Percolate on a particular mix of odd and inspiring news headlines in Wendy's Coffee House. Newsmakers with a pen shot for the unknown, unexplained, and unusual share their experiences with UFOs, ghost encounters, near-death experiences, and more for your own unique blend of Wendy's Coffee House Curious. And now... Here's Wendy. And it's that time. You might not know what I'm talking about. I got a cold shoulder doing garden work. Well, that's probably, that's my story. (laughs) I'm sticking to it. But I tried the CBD, yes, the CBD lotion. And I had tried it months ago for something, uh, my wrist, doing all the writing and stuff. And I thought, no, this doesn't work. But I tell you what, I've changed my mind. This stuff actually does work. So I wanted to at least say... For all the people who are curious, and since it's, we've got like four shops in the, in one block, I these they're they're I don't know they're they're they just multiply like rabbits. Anyway, the CBD shops are all over the place. I thought, well, and a friend had said, here, try this, and it didn't work the first time, but it does um, for for shoulders and things like that. This stuff is awesome. Now it does take a little while to kick in. I think that's the problem they're having with all the gummy bears in Colorado because um, by the time people have eaten forty, they go into the hospital and say. Uh, and, and it should have stopped at 10, okay, or 3. <laughs> and the thing is, they, they look like candy, and, okay, there's, this is candy with a punch or a kick or a drop kick. So just remember that. I have not tried them. I might stop there, but I do have my roastery CBD infused cold brew. And I'm probably going to collect it, just the can, you know, because here, once, there's, there's the original. This is the, the launch product, and I, I haven't <laughs> bothered to open it up, but the other I do like also want to say um, this, I got a recommendation. I'm going to try the handcrafted juices. And these, this is local. If you have not tried Ruby Jeans, I, somebody gave me a dynamite review on this. I thought, okay, I've got to, I've got to do that because that's another thing that um, right now is really kicking into high gear. My guest, we're go, not going to go UFO, no Bigfoot, not today. All right. However, it's on the blog, Wendy's Coffee House. I've got all sorts of stuff there because this is my life. But today, the other part of my life, is the uh, psychic stuff. Bill Phillips is a medium, and everybody knows him but me, okay? So I'm like, oh, okay, fine. It's about time. So Bill, and this is his second book, so see, where was I? Um, his second book, and this is um, about signs from the other side, opening to spirit. And this is fantastic because what it is is if you've ever had a hunch, a clue, a hint, a glimmer, that there's somebody else with you, and it feels like they're there, Start paying attention to that because that's a that, that's a that's best that's where it starts and that's what Bill wants everybody to know is this is this is so easy and it's um, sometimes it's so subtle that you're tempted to to you know logic it away well don't do that and Bill Phillips thank you for joining me and he also I'm going to put him on the spot he agreed to write a blog guest blog post so I'm looking forward to that and we're just going to say hey slam dunk it's already done right Bill. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely and i i love i love that introduction i love how you explained that it's uh that what you said was exactly my intention you know behind this book and just to really have anyone be able to um to tune in basically you know and to understand those subtleties and and how spirit works you know how they orchestrate these events um to unfold around us into our daily life well the first- um and go ahead no, go ahead. Well, since the first book, you do more of an introduction of yourself, and this one is where you really dig into some other stories of people to give, you know, an idea of, of yeah. you know, examples of how this works. Yeah, the, my, my first book, Expect the Unexpected, is, is more about my self-discovery and more about um, the evidence of, of, my, of my ability and the readings that have taken place. Um, and this, this book is more about um, 
you know, everyone coming to their own understanding of, of spirit through their own unique um, experiences. So I was so grateful to be able to document that in such a way um, that anyone that reads the book will have this sort of, you know, epiphany or this, or this awakening, you know, reading it going, you know, that same thing's happened to me. And now I don't feel as crazy as I did before reading this, you know, and that, that really was the intention was to kind of take that negative stigma out of, out of it um, so that anyone could uh, remove the, you know, the layers of, of uh, ego or layers of, of doubt or fear and, and truly just understand that how spirit likes to connect into our daily lives. My question, I want to get back into a little bit of your background mm-hmm. for anyone who hasn't, sure. who's not familiar with you, because you talk about this in the book about your family and having a, kind of a rocky and very unscheduled, unregulated, mm-hmm. up in the air kind of upbringing with, between your mom and mm-hmm. dad. But the one thing I yeah. also uh, connected to was your grandmother is totally not on board and she has her own way of being, and you you reconciled that, and I like the way you reconciled it because grandma's grandma, and you still love her. She mm-hmm. still loves you. It's just this thing you do with medium scares scares you a whole lot. Okay, a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's probably an understatement, but yes, it does. And um, but I was so grateful, um, you know, going through my life and not having that stability as a child, um, having her appear and and really you know take me under her wing was just a miracle, you know, so I I owe her all my gratitude for that. Um, And yeah, you know, I I really feel like anyone who discovers their own innate intuitive abilities, whether they are psychic or a medium or a light worker, whatever it may be, there's a healer. There's usually some form of uh, uh, awakening that takes place, and that, that awakening takes place through trauma. In my opinion, so it's it's usually something that really shakes us to our core and um, forces us to um, see life in a different way, you know. And mm-hmm. so, for a lot of people, it happens, you know, maybe later in life, or it happens through the loss of a loved one, or through a near death experience, something that really sh- um, rattles them to you know to their core. And for me, that happened when I was a child and, you know, being tossed back and forth between my parents and then, um, you know, having my mother actually kidnap me and take me across the country, you know, that that will do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I was definitely uh, had no other um, choice but to really go within and to really uh, feel that protection around me as a child, not really knowing what to label it as, but just knowing that whenever I was going through some form of trauma that I, that I would, you know, go within and I, I knew I was being protected. And as a child, that was a very incredible experience. You know, I just, um, as time went on and looking back at it in hindsight, I understood what was protecting me, you know? Um, and so I, I do go into more detail, um, in, in both books, right. but, um, yeah. Right. So, you know, my mom, um, so I was taken across the country and for about three years I was there and, you know, it it was a pretty uh, challenging time, Yes. you know, and so I was taken back uh, about three years later and I kind of went from the same type of extreme to the other with my dad. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was kept from my mom for almost six years and, uh, she, she passed away unexpectedly, but I was able to fly out and see her within hours of her death. So, um, was very, um, as a 14-year-old, very grateful for that experience, but also just, you know, heartbroken and yeah. just, you know, to my core, thought my life was, was over. I was just, it was just horrible. Um, but, you know, then the blessing came, and uh, two nights later, she came to me, and from that night forward, a lot of incredible things emerged into my life that really um, helped me trust this path and trust what was going on in my mind and in my body um and and now i'm here today you know so th- there, there's always there's always a blessing behind everything that we go through like this but for me i i know now that we sort of had this agreement coming in here for her to help me and that's really what's taken place i want to go back and re just um we're going to take a quick break here but i want to go back and reset mm-hmm. and reestablish what was so traumatic about that and how 
how that fit because that's that's the part of the story where you see the healing and you see as you know as you get this experience it's a validation for your own psychic ability even though at that point you didn't really expect to go into what you're doing now so if you if you don't mm -hmm. mind i want to just kind of give a, a little pla a framework for people to understand how traumatic that would have been for you to go back and forth and why there were hardships with that and then to have you know mom kind of show up and say hi kiddo <laughs> so so hang on just uh, yeah. a minute Okay, don't just a minute. All right, and and you can put that in the blog post too. I'm, you know, I'm open to all sorts of stuff here. All right, we're listening or, and talking to signs from the other side, opening to spirit. Bill Phillips, a medium, gifted medium. And if you read the reviews on Amazon, wow, wow, wow. Okay, so you can do that too. You can check out the book there. You can go to his website. But you're going to come back and hear more from Bill on Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio. Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio. I totally forgot to mention this in the opening, but I've decided my next road trip, my dream road trip, I've decided where I'm going. The Pacific Pinball Museum. They have thousands of pinball machines. I would love to just have one. <laughs> but thousands is like candy. So uh, it's in Alameda, California. I just happened to see that and got really, really distracted before I was doing my, doing my homework with Bill and trying to get his phone number, like, oh, look, you know, you're on the internet and all these things pop up and there's this pinball thing. So, sorry, Bill. <laughs> so, so Bill Phillips is my guest. He's a medium. Signs from the other side is uh, the little clues on how you know somebody's trying to connect with you. It could be subtle. It can be in your face, bold. Um, it could be on the license plate, whatever. But I wanted to go back. That childhood upbringing involved two parents who had drug issues. And they were, th that's what really threw everything up in the air and kept things really unpredictable. So from mom who took him away and got him out from, away from dad, and then he had all sorts of issues with that. And then going back to dad and being um, prohibited from seeing mom, maybe talking to her, but that, that was, it was over. And then at the last minute, he's able to come back and make the connection with mom. But grandma's there holding down the fort. And if you know grandma, if you read this book, grandma's got a really firm grip and she is, <laughs> she knows that Satan is busy somewhere. Okay. And so mm -hmm. this is where Bill has come into his own saying, well, once mom showed back up, well, grandma's good, but, but there's other stuff going on that maybe grandma is just not ready to hear. Does that sum it up okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? In so many ways, yes, it does. And, you know, going back to what I was uh, talking about with that trauma, you know, for, for me, what, I, what, what my soul agreed upon to experience to understand this was, to have two parents that struggled with it, with drug addiction, you know, and alcoholism. And mm -hmm. so that's, that's what happened. And, um, you know, um, when I was taken to New York for those three years and was really having to fend for myself a lot of that time and more trauma happened there. Um, and, you know, my mom was kind of in and out of, of facilities. She, she really did try to you know, get present and, and, and heal, but it was, it, it was a long, it was a long process. Yeah. It was, it was over her head. So, um, so, you know, she, she was missing and the, the person that was sort of, you know, kind of helping me a little bit was able to contact my family back in California and they shipped me back to the West coast. Um, my dad was living in Vegas at, at the time. And so here I am three years later going back to, to Vegas, you know, to, to see my dad and, um, and it was it was awful. It was you know it was it was the same exact thing, but just in a different in a different area. Mm -hmm. So um, here I was there and going you know just just complete just as a child having to surrender. You know that was that was my 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 true intention and lesson at the time. But um, thank God for my grandmother because um, she stepped in um, during that journey. You know and and she really took me under her wing and. Um, and, and she really, um, taught me her way, you know, and, and, um, and she taught me how to, you know, just how to be a, a loving vessel for people. And so I'm, I'm so grateful for that experience, but yeah. So, um, flash forward six years, you know, my mom, um, went to the hospital on a Monday and she passed away on a Saturday and I was able to say goodbye to her on Saturday, um, and, you know, when she came to me and I thought my life was, was over, you know, her, her message was wanting me to know that she was okay and that she was going to take care of me. And, you know, so much of the time when, when um, spirit brings through information or messages, 
there's no there's there's no time associated with it you know there there's no clock for calendars on the other side so i had to just sort of put that in the back of my mind and and trust what what she was conveying to me um, okay wait and, wait 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 just just mm-hmm. to give people an idea of how incredible this sure. might have been there was somebody with you when mom showed up yes okay cuz this really yes. makes it this makes a dent in reality cuz the person who, <laughs> i mean you were like oh hey mom how you doing the other person's going Holy, I'm out of here. And yeah, okay, that that's kind of in your face. <laughs> I think you're, you're glossing over that, Bill. <laughs> um, <laughs> so so just kind of fill in a blank or two with that. Okay, well, let's see, mom is she's appearing. She's in your room. She's this is mom. But the other person isn't right. quite so happy about that. Okay, are you referring to my grandmother? Well, you you the, the 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 presence is when your mom uh-huh. appears to you. Yes. Yes, and so you know it's her. Right, oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, yes, but not everybody absolutely. else does. Oh, absolutely. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so of course, I, of course with, with my physical eyes and my intuitive eyes, I know it's her, obviously. I mean, it's clear as day to me having that experience, you know, and um, just the, the, whole, the whole visual of it, of, just being able to still see in the corner, you know, and the light just cascading everywhere and just this really sort of spiritual experience. You know, I was, I was afraid to share that with anybody because I, you know, I, I wasn't sure how people were going to react to it. I, I was thinking, you know, this is a very intimate experience for myself, but how, how will everyone else you know, take this. Right. So I, I, I definitely, you know, kept it within for, for a very long time. Um, and so the same way in which just people that go about their days not really having a support or um, people that really understand this world or this realm that kind of hold it within, that's exactly what I was doing. I, I, was, I was holding it within. When you finally decided to do this, and you had, I believe, another psychic, other people saying, hey, you, you can do what I do, and you're like, eh. mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> when did you cross that? When did you cross yeah. that line? Um, you know, so just, just th- three weeks after my mom passed away, and I was back home in, um, in California, and some friends and I were, um, were at this strip mall, and the psychic came out and approached me and told me, you know, you have this incredible gift, and, you know, my eyes are rolling back in my head. Okay, yeah. And then <laughs> she's saying, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you about three years before you understand what I'm referring to. And $5,000, come on in, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, that was the amazing part. She, there was nothing like that at all. She, this, was, this was a genuine um, connection. So yes. but as, a, as a 15-year-old, just turned 15, you know, it was like, what is going on here? But it really, everything led me to, to more and more curiosity and more and more fascination about about spirit, about the other side, about metaphysics. Mm-hmm. So literally, I'm not, literally three years later, I'm 18, and I had just graduated high school. Um, and there was this metaphysical shop that I, I had heard about, but I had never been into. And there was one evening where I was soul searching, and I, I just, I, I, I drove there. I, I drove there. I, I pulled into the parking lot, and within like 10 minutes there was a class going on on uh mediumship and on um just intuitive uh, intuitive development so i i i almost left it but something told me to stay and that was the moment where it was or i was put to the test in the situation and um the the validation that came out of it was just so incredible that I knew there was something to it. It wasn't just something that I was experiencing in my in my mind. So I was paired up with a per, with a woman who I who was a stranger to me, and I held her hand, and I was just instructed to share with her what I was receiving or what I was feeling. And within a few minutes, I had brought through her dear friend who had passed away from a drug overdose, prescription pill drug overdose. Um, and in my mind, I kept seeing a table with just pills overflowing on it. And before that, I, I had seen the blonde hair and I had seen the J initial and I had, you know, there was no response from her until I had, until I had um, explained to her what I was seeing with the pills overflowing. So 
I put two and two together, overflow, overdose, and, you know, she completely just opened up and explained that, you know, her, her dear friend who was blonde and had the J name uh, had taken her life from that. And it was in that moment that this revelation occurred where I thought, oh my God, there, this is, this is something that I have to, you know, keep, keep doing, you know, yeah. to help. And so it, it kind of take, it, it kind of took on a world or a mind of its own. You know, I, I told some friends, those friends told friends and I was considering it like just practicing with, with friends and, and, it, and it became much more than that. Um, and okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, was, Bill, just uh, a minute, just a minute. Okay. So it became more sure. than that, and we know that, mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. why you're here. But I want to also right. bring in, there's a music element with this. Well, okay. that's exactly what I was just about. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, yeah. just a minute. We're going to take a break, and the music okay. is coming. All right? Bill Phillips okay. is my guest, <laughs> medium and author of Signs from the Other Side. So stick around. You're going to want to hear the tune. My guest, medium Bill Phillips, Signs from the Other Side, Open Your Spirit. And this is Wendy's Coffee House. I'll put links on the blog, and I'll put Bill's blog post up there. Not no pressure, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, and th- the thing about this is, you were doing readings. Just going to do it for friends, no biggie. It was important. It was really cool, and it was helpful. And but then all of a sudden, it was so good that people, you know, how people show up when you're doing something right, and they just all of a sudden have, well, hey, me too, and they're in there wanting <laughs> it done. But there was this music element. And that's what I wanted to also yeah. bring back into it, because that's a huge part of you. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. And, and I thank you for bringing that up. Um, so when I was in high school, um, you know, I was in choir, and, and I had a, a voice teacher that took me under her wing, and I was her scholarship student. And she just saw a lot of potential um, in me in, in that regard as well. So, um, of course, you know, this was the perfect guys for me to kind of hide behind to, like, leave that part of my life behind because I, I was I was still very unsure about it you know I was mm-hmm. 18 I had this background my you know just my grandmother's belief system and, and especially at that time and you know in the early 2000s this was not as you know right. as widely accepted as it is now today so yeah. I, there was a lot of fear there um, so I had auditioned for um, for uh, a conservatory in San Francisco and I got in and I decided, you know what, this is what I'm doing. I'm leaving this behind. This is, oh, thank, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, I should have realized that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. There, was, there, was no, there was no running away from it. So um, it had a way of manifesting itself when I was in music school as well. Um, but, but thankfully, I'm so grateful that it did because the people that, um, that were in my life at that time were very instrumental for me understanding energy in a different form, in the form of vibration and sound and music. And so I really do attribute that to understanding like clear audience on a deeper level and understanding that, that frequency. Because, you know, music is the language of the soul and, and it has a way of moving us, you know, and, mm-hmm. and you know, getting the chills and just feeling that that connection to it. And it's a very similar connection that is felt when someone is tuning into the energy of the other side. So for, for me, it was the perfect combination. Um, and w- you know, when I was, when I was in music school and my teachers taught me, you know, just to simple breathe and trust just breathe and trust. And that's exactly that. That's exactly what I do now as well. When I'm channeling, it's just having to just have this complete faith and trust in spirit so the 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 two just go so perfectly together um and towards the end of my of my school days um there was still fear you know i it was still scary for me but on a very deep level i i knew what i had to do so i came out of the closet with it Mm -hmm. um and really came out of the closet twice at the time so (laughs) Um, you know, a whole nother story, but so it was really just a liberating, just really just releasing these layers that I had been holding on to, um, fearfully for, for so many years. And, and when I did, the response was amazing. You know, um, most of my family was, was very supportive. Um, my friends were very supportive. They were telling their friends and telling their friends and people were coming all, all over the place. Um, so it really took on this incredible journey of its own. And my intention with spirit was 
I'm not going to go down on the street and, you know, bombard somebody and tell them that spirit's with them. This has to be done in a very integ- integrous way where they are they are seeking me out. That's, right. that's where I felt the most comfortable. So I, I, I set that intention with spirit, and that's, that's what, that's what began to happen, you know, and just word of mouth is very powerful. And, um, and I definitely attribute that to my, my music training as well, sort of, um, sort of fulfilling both roles for me or both gifts for me. Well, and that's, I think that's instrumental as you use, use ter- that's, that's significant because when mm-hmm. you're talking about the goosebumps and saying you get goosebumps from, from music and that's one of the signs that somebody is around you, too. There's a, a frequency, a vibration, and it, when it trips, mm-hmm. all of a sudden you have that response, that resonance, that, that clue, and instead of discounting that, that's what you're doing in the book is helping people to say, yes, that's an aha moment, and you may not yeah. get anything more than that, but you could say, mm-hmm. can you give me another sign, or is there something that will help validate this and go from there? Mm-hmm. And you, you, know, you talk about saying, speaking to them out loud. And, you know, in some way reinforcing that there's something happening so that actually they know you're listening and you picked up on it. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, to to be honest, you know, we're we're all designed to be channels. You know, we're all we're all these receivers, just not not realizing it, walking around. And um, when when someone does really understand that connection, you know, to spirit and they really develop this their own language with them. Um, it's pretty incredible because not only are you having the reassurance that you're not alone, but you're also navigating with your soul as well. You know, you're navigating through life with your intuition. And when, when you give energy to that and you pull away from the rational part or maybe the, the fear-based part of yourself, life begins to emerge in a different way, you know, and it's not so fear-based and you go through life understanding your your part in it and that you're co-creating. And because of that, you know, you maybe do take a few more risks, you know, or you get out of your comfort zone or you see the bigger picture of life. And so it, it all it all begins with just basically giving yourself permission to be open and also giving spirit permission to come in and meet you halfway to give you those signs. Well, and the reality. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, and the reality of it is that they're always providing those signs. It's just that we're not always on the same frequency or we're not always present to seeing them be right in front of us. So it's really a lot of it on our end, having to kind of get present, you know, let go of what's going on around us and truly see life for what it is in the moment. Where I was going with that was there's a uh, review on Amazon from Donna Marie McCormick, Plantation, Florida. And she said that she she read the book, and then she made an appointment with her husband. Uh, I think it was mm-hmm. uh, two years in advance, and it was with mm-hmm. uh, connect with her sister. And she said the experience that they had with you was absolutely fantastic. And she had read the book, expect the unexpected, but she was still not expecting what happened. <laughs> it, it, that, what's that like when you have people come in and they're just they may not be. There might be a little skeptical, or there might be just you know desperate one way or the other. What happens when they walk into the room with you? You know, I I'm really good about um, quelling their their fear or their nervousness coming into it. You know, I take a few minutes to really explain the process of it and explain that even though we're setting the intention to let anyone come through, that's for your highest good. We're not sure who that person is going to actually be, and. Um, you know, and that's why the first book was called exactly what it was, because I, I'm never sure what's going to happen, you know. And a lot of times what happens is, yes, um, there is someone who's very connected to us that does come forward, and it's very healing. But also a lot of times what happens as well is that that person is there to be a messenger for somebody else as well. So it has this ripple effect to it where, you know, um, where someone comes through and they're like, oh, yeah, that's my, you know, that's my friend's mom that, that passed away recently. And then, they're, then they are there to bring that information back to that person and to continue that healing. So whenever spirit sees that, um, this, this, is, that this is taking place, they really all come together to orchestrate this, this massive healing. It's not just what, it's not just for one person. It has a snowball effect to it. So a lot of times what I find is that 
they're working together to bring through um, multiple, you know, validations or messages that will have a ripple effect. Okay, hang on just a minute. We're going to take a quick break. Again, my guest, Phil, is a psychic medium and very gifted and has tons of wonderful rave reviews on Amazon and other places as well. But uh, Signs from the Other Side is the book you can get on the website. I do want to come back and, and say that, you know, there are sometimes it's easier to get a connection. I want you to address that because sometimes you have people who show up and, and you say, okay, the name is Marie and it was a heart issue and a trauma <laughs> issue. Does anybody here have somebody who had a heart issue and trauma and died from that um, name Marie? And yes, my Aunt Claudia. <laughs> and you're like... Excuse me. Okay, so I want you to address that. People who are so desperate to hear something, they're going to make the ends meet, whether they have anywhere, you know, if they're the same dimension or not, because that's also part of this. It's, well, you know, it's, yeah. it's us. No, it's, it's us. It's so, true. okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Got to take a yeah. qu- quick break. It's Wendy's Coffee okay. House. And remember, Bill has a guest blog post opportunity, and he's going to take advantage of that before the time runs out. KCMO Talk Radio. Ha ha. Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio. Thank you for listening. I hope you're finding something here that you can use because this stuff, when it happens, it's so subtle. But sometimes when people, and I'm talking with my guest, um, Bill, who's a psychic medium, Bill Phillips, and the book is called Signs from the Other Side. It, the, 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 we're so desperate. We want something to work so bad that, and in the book he says, you know, there's this woman who heard the name Carol and somehow Monica or something else came into play, her, and I understand she only heard part of the message because she was she w- wanted to hear something. And as soon as she heard heart attack or something, it was like, yes, yes, that's it. And you're going, uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're not firing on all the cylinders. Just one cylinder showed up. So how do you deal yes. with that? Well, I, I'm, very, I, I'm very honest and very you know, transparent with when I bring that information through of just not, not giving it carelessly to someone because they want to hear it. You know, I, I really am direct with, making sure the connection is there. And, and you, you know, you can feel it as well. If you're in that, in that setting or that, situ- or that situation, you, you know when that connection is taking place. But, yes, there, there, is, there is always um, the person that wants everything to be for them. And that's something that I have to also surrender to. But mm-hmm. going back to, to how spirit works, you know, there are times when they're orchestrating it for a different purpose. And um, this reminds me of a story that happened years ago. I mean, almost 10 years ago where um, someone came in for a session with me and, and this, this, this person came through and they, they were like, they did, did not know what I was talking about at all. And, but they, you know, they recorded it and they brought it home. And after they sat with it for a little bit, they realized that their neighbors that had just lost their son um, and in a very traumatic way. And once they, once they had that mindset going into it, they played everything back again. And I mean, it was down to his name, the date, like his, it was, it was just very specific. Mm-hmm. So they were able to bring that to their neighbors and actually provide this tremendous healing um, to them, mm-hmm. you know, and so that that that's why I say it's you know you have to just let it be organic, mm-hmm. natural, and and trust that it's going to it's going to um, go to who needs it the most, and that's always my intention when I channel. I like that. I like that because mm-hmm. part of it is that especially when somebody you're describing a kind of person who might not ever show up for anything like this, and yet this right. was really really crucial for them to have some kind of and it it. it doesn't just give closure but like an affirmation that it doesn't end and that's what you try to stress is you know the, the body may be gone but the essence the form the spirit the, the the being is still around and sometimes you know not kicking tires and people just aren't playing paying any attention until they have a flat like exactly, a trauma, exactly. a trauma. yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. um if if you were to do something really special for for a uh, a reading or something like what what's like the most important or most powerful message that you have been given thus far that that um that might have been surprising to you even during a reading yeah. um you know there's there's been so many things but i've um i've i've received messages from people that um from one person in particular that attended like a a group reading of mine and um, his family came through to help their son who was having um, an addiction issue. And um, apparently during the reading, um, his father was talking about these patches and the skin and all. And he had no idea what I was talking about. But 
as it turned out, it, that was exactly what was going on. And it was down to these, these patches. And it was very, very, it was a very heavy addiction. And they were able to have um, an interjection and, and an uh, intervention to save their son's life. And if they, if they weren't there in that moment, they wouldn't have been given those little pieces of information to help them pull that information together and see the larger picture. So a lot of times what happens in a reading is that we're being given information that's sometimes a little bit premature, but it's there to help us for when those, when those episodes occur or, you know, when those um, transactions occur. So a lot of times it's um, spirit kind of giving us a heads up. And Mm -hmm. I love that because um, they're, they're working over there to help us here enjoy our time and to make the most of it, you know, and, and, and to see the beauty of it really. And that's always their intention is, you know, take the risk, live your life. It goes by so fast. Don't wait till you're retired to enjoy your life, you know, enjoy it now. Mm -hmm. And so for for me, that that's always the most um, important message from them is just to be in the here and now. They don't get our trauma, do they? No, (laughs) no, 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 they, they, nope, they don't. It's like, I don't get over it. (laughs) <laughs> well, in a loving way, in a loving way, you know, that's, that's the gift of it is when we leave the physical shell behind, we leave the ego behind that, that comes with it as well. So all that heaviness is, is shattered with that. Um, and that, that's a gift, you know, it, it truly is. And, and they, there's no judgment at all. So if someone is, you know, going through a difficult time, know that you're not being judged. You're only being encouraged to see the, to see the light and to see the truth in the matter. Well, and you're talking also in the book when you're trying to encourage people to open up and listen. You say the big thing is you have to believe. Mm-hmm. And that's, yeah. that's it's, huge. It's all about your belief. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm a, oh, I know this, that our reality is all custom to what our belief system is. So whatever you put your thoughts and your focus on, it's going to be what your physical reality looks like. And in this situation, yes. When when you give when you give belief to it, you're you're tapping into a different part of the mind. Um, you're you're tapping into the intuitive part of yourself and your higher self, your subconscious self, and and that's the that's the real anchor to the other side. It's always the rational part of our mind and the ego part of our mind that likes to get in our head and you know mess things up and tell us that we're crazy or whatever. But when we really give energy to the other part of ourselves, our, our soul self, um, that's, that's when we build that connection. And, and there's just so much faith in that, knowing um, how we're connected and who we're connected to. So it all, it all begins with that programming. Hey, Bill, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have to let you go. I want people to connect with you, though. The, the book, the second book is Signs from the Other Side, Opening to Spirit, and that's on your website. And you, you're also... Um, in, in so many ways, available for one, one-on-one, up close and personal, or presentations, the whole nine yards. Is there anything else you want to mention before we leave? Got about a minute left. Um, I just want to extend my gratitude to you for, um, for bringing this awareness, you know, to, to the world. And I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to connect with you today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I mm-hmm. tell you what, Grandma did a good job. I know for you that <laughs> when she was seeing what you were doing, just very, very worried about your soul and knowing that at the same time she loved you to pieces and you had to have some kind of grounding and Grandma did the best job that she could. And I think that's fantastic. And I love the way that you support her and say, we may believe differently, but we're out of the same cord, the same cloth. And she's my grandma and I love her too. And I want that. I just think people seeing that and reading that in your book get a huge message of we're all human beings. And whatever we believe, we're all here in the same soup trying to make ends meet and trying to figure out which way is up. And where's the light? And, Bill, you know where it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm, I'm putting him on the spot. I'm saying he's going to write a blog post. So so hopefully uh, he, he won't be too mm, overwhelmed with that big, enormous task. And Mom will kick in a, a, a word or two. Hey, thank you for listening. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your focus. And I will tell you what. My husband once told me, he said, I love you as much as big, you know, big gold dump trucks. We had a little saying that we went. Um, it was like buckets and buckets, oodles and boodles and big gold dump trucks. I said, yeah, right. And guess what we saw? Belton had big gold dump trucks, and they had two of them. And I'm like, what planet are we on? So when things happen, when you're aligned, weird is possible. And miracles 
are probable. Thank you to Bill Phillips, because that's what he's doing, working miracles. Thanks for listening. Till next time, stay curious. See ya. We get our weekly groceries delivered through Instacart, because once football season starts, game time is family time. I can get everything my family needs for the week, from reliable staples to specialty ingredients, all delivered right to my door in as fast as one hour. So I can stay on my game without missing a minute of the game. Visit instacart.com or download the app to get free delivery on your first three orders. Offer valid for a limited time, minimum order $10, additional terms apply. Instacart, add life to cart. Before Shopify, were you wondering, where my sales at? Now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. <clears throat> oh, sorry, but my Shopify sales are through the roof. Start selling with Shopify today and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Shopify.com slash listen.